Hey guys, it's Green Bay Wacky, and I'm going to give you a crash course in OBS. Who's got time to go all over the internet looking to figure OBS out? I'm going to give you all the basics you need to get up and running and look like a pro, like fast, okay? So, right now I've got my OBS. This is not what you're seeing. I'm assuming you just installed OBS. You open it up, it looks like this, okay? Now, uh, I'm going to show you all the quick little ins and outs. Um, now, it might not be in order, so... Just so you know, but there's one thing I just want to make sure I mention um, right off the bat so that we get it covered, okay? When you live stream, um, you're going to have to go to your YouTube channel, your creator studio, your live streaming, scroll to the bottom, and you're going to have to get your stream key, and you're going to have to copy and paste it into your OBS. That will be right here because you won't be able to live stream without putting it in. Go under your settings, okay? And this screen is going to come up right here. And uh, actually, I'm going to make this a little bigger so you can see it over on the right here. And you're going to have to go to stream, and uh, that's where you put your stream key in. It's always private. I, like, I'm not going to show you my stream key. But you'll copy and paste it right there under stream key. See all those dots, okay? Now, let's just, okay, it's fine. But I just want you to know that right off the bat, that's where you'll need to put your stream key in to live stream on YouTube, okay? Now, one other thing I just want to mention, and then we'll jump into what you setting it up. Um, this happens all the time. You ever been on a live stream? Your music's too loud. You got to remember two things, okay? I'm going to just play some music real quick, okay? Let me just grab this and I'll play it. All right. Now watch. You got to remember, if you're playing speakers, your microphone is going to pick it up. So it's already making it louder. So you might have to turn it down, all right? So the speakers don't pick it up. The other pro here's your adjustment right here. Whatever you're playing, whether it's from the internet or you know through your media player, you see I got the desktop audio to the audience here. This is when they can't hear you. It's so loud. So you gotta you gotta play with that. I've found when you get it about a third of the way, the talk over is pretty good. Um, the other thing too, like I'm using a Yeti microphone, so to avoid switching to your webcam one you mute you mute your camera your webcam microphone see how i just clicked that off so a couple little details for you to remember now the other way to do it is let's say you have a panel and you have some music playing and so you want the music to play um what you can do is this and you want to be able to hear the panel but you see how that's loud 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 go to your media player and turn the volume down on the media player. So that's the trick to get your sound right. Now, it doesn't appear much on the desktop audio there. All right, so you, there's lots of volume controls to play with, okay? That's how it all works. Now, let's just jump into the tutorial here. Let's get rid of the music, done with the music, okay? I made my point on that. Now, here's what you're gonna do. You've got nothing right now, but I have something, okay? Make a new scene. And I'm going to call it tutorial, okay? This is going to be a crash course. Guys, I'm going to fly through this for you. Tutorial. You have nothing, okay? So the first thing you want to do is add a camera. Go to video uh, capture device. I like to see myself while I'm doing this. You don't have to do it in this order, but video capture device. Now there's create a new, add existing, but you don't have existing. So we have to create a new. So I'm going to go in. I'm not even going to name it. And you see how it already sees I have my webcam hooked up? That's the one I want. Tell it okay. Problem is, you see how there's nothing here? Well, close your OBS and open it, okay? And it'll be here. Just watch. Ba bam. It's coming. Just give it time. There. Now it's here, okay? Now, here's the problem, though, with what I just did, all right? Because I already have scenes set up, OBS is kind of glitchy, okay? Watch my other scenes where I'm using this camera on. We're not going to see it. See it? It's gone. All right? See that? So once you get your camera set up for the first time, you're always going to want to duplicate, all right? You're, or, or when you I'm going to duplicate the scene. This is how you duplicate the scene. Tutorial 2. See how we have one here and two here? Okay? From now on, I'm going to use, I'm going to erase this. Watch. Since I already have them set up. I'm going to erase the camera. We have nothing again. Now, I'm always going to add... On the uh, uh, video capture, add existing. I'm going to use my 920 that's already in there, okay? But once again, even though I told it that, 
close it, open it up. It'll be here now for your whole live stream, and it'll be here every time you open it up. OBS is glitchy. It's just glitchy. There we go. See how I'm in there? Now, see how I'm in the Ferrari? OBS is now using the same camera. It's all set for every scene that I have. It'll be there every time, okay? But sometimes you have to close and open OBS uh, at first, but not on a live stream. So, okay, so now we're going to set up the scene. Okay, now the reason I'm going to have to <laughs> monkey around with this just so you can see. Uh, you don't know how to do a green screen yet because, see, I'm already using my existing one. So let's go back to erasing this out, okay, just for the first scene. You're going to be doing this. You're adding your video capture device. And don't worry, I'm going to fly with this any minute there, okay? And you're going to start out with a 920 right there. Got to close it just to register it. It's just funny that way. You can probably unplug it and plug it in, but jeepers, how long does it take to, to do this, okay? Oh, my bad. <laughs> Sorry. Add. Video capture device. Create a new. Yes. Sorry. 920. Click back and forth on it. There we go. Now, I know it's not there. Here we go. It will be there. Close it and open it up. It'll be here. There we are. Okay. Uh, you got to toggle it back and forth there real quick for your first setup okay now here's how you set up the green screen real quick assuming you have a green screen crash course i'm going to fly through this and we'll be done here in like five minutes so stick with me stay with me okay you want a crash course i'm going to give it to you okay so what you do is you click on your video capture device right click filters okay now you have the uh, plus button here you want to add a chroma key now I'm just not naming these things, but you can. I know for a fact, for me, it works good to slide the smoothness and key color left uh, to the end. And then get rid of your green screen right about whatever makes you feel good, depending on what you're wearing. I'm just going to go about that. That should be roughly about right. Okay. See, now we've erased out the background. Okay. So now, every time you make a new scene, all right, add that existing camera, this one right here. So now that we've done this, I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, now you know how to do a green screen real fast. And I'm now going to get rid of this here. Okay, and I'm now going to add my existing video capture device, which is already in here. I've already got it as my 920 new. There we go. All right, same with here. I'm going to add the uh, video capture device. It's going to be the existing 920 new, 922, okay? Now, it's not showing up. I know. Don't panic, okay? One last closeout, and it'll be fine. Open it up. Okay. It'll be here. There we are. Okay. So now, everything that I use this camera on is there. See, we're all here. All my different scenes are here. I've got, uh, <laughs> I've got tons of them. Puppies, oceans, monsters, blizzards feelings boulder buddies you know it's like storm that's the idea build yourself tons of scenes okay Ooh, hookala. okay all right so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna build our scenes real quick the main things you're gonna want to know is this the camera remember it starts out up here when you click on it it's always about stretching the red lines okay all right and right clicking the order is where you bring it forward move it back I know it says bottom, top, down, up, okay? But here's what I'm gonna show you real quick. You've, we showed you the sound, the stream key, and all that. This is a crash course. The main thing people wanna add are pictures, videos, and uh, text, okay? So, here's the crash course. You wanna add pictures, you're always adding the scene over. We're, we're in this scene here. Remember, you can duplicate your scenes, carry them over, so that you can play with them and make them a little different. So, here we go. We're on the first one, the tutorial. We're gonna add an image, okay? Now, I'm not gonna name it, I'm just, this is a crash course. Let's go grab some kind of an image. I don't know, what do we got? Uh, let's see here, what do we got? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, no, what do we wanna put on this one, Lulu? Ooh, cab seven, cab! All right, I got a PNG file here. All right, so I got cab. Now, see how he's covering me? But watch, right click, order, 
Move to bottom. Now he's under me. See that? So we got cab seven. Hey, I guess it's a uh, joint effort here now. Now, once you get your camera where you want it, by the way, wherever you want it, see how holding it with your left click moves it around? Once you get it where you want it, let's say I want it here, lock it. See how the red lines went away? It's locked. So on a live stream, you won't accidentally click on it. Now, I could accidentally move Ben right here, cab seven, so I'm going to lock him down, all right? So you can do this all day long with images. Add an image. We just added one. Let's add another one. Rouse. Here we go. What do we got? Let's grab. Uh, oh, that's so cute. Lulu love yous. Little ferret. Oh, my goodness. That's so cute. Okay. Again, right click the order, right? But first stretch it where you want it. Let's say I want Lulu's little ferret up in the corner here. Okay. Maybe down here. There we go. Right click the order if you didn't like where it was to move it to the front, the back, whatnot. So, again, now we want to add animate. So, hopefully, you now know how to add uh, images. You can do that all day long. Okay. Now, add uh, animation. Okay. That's what people, how do you add animation? It's got to be in your computer. And here's the funny thing about OBS once you add it, don't move it out of your folder. Wherever the location is, is where OBS, oh, that's my hangout going off there. I'll get to that in a minute. I want to finish this video. Once you grab an image or an animation, if you move it somewhere in your computer, it won't be there when you go for OBS. It's got to remain in the same place for OBS to get it. Otherwise, you have to go back and re-add it. So here's animation, okay? Uh, video, in other words. Remember this. If a video has sound to it, then you'll have to go to your mixing board over here and mute the sound or... What I've done actually sometimes, just so I don't forget, I've actually ran a video through some of my video editing software and muted it. And so I made a muted copy. So there's no way the sound can accidentally play. So we want to add an animation. It's very simple. It's a media source. See this? Right here, media source. Let's go grab one. Uh, browse. I got my animations right here. Here's one of my American flags, for example. Okay. There it is. Okay. Actually, I don't like that. I, I like the other one better. I'm going to get rid of that media source. Hold on. There we go. I'm going to add a media source again. Media source. Bam. Let's go back to the animations there. I want the other flag. There we go. I like that one better. Okay. There we go. Now, you see how it covered everything up, right? Right click, order, move to bottom. It's under us. See that? Now, you see the red line still around it? I could still stretch it, but I'm going to leave it full screen. Okay, so now I got a beautiful flag. And if I like where it is, lock it down and it won't go anywhere. So we got Ben, we got Lulu. Now Lulu's not locked down, I'll lock her down. Now, did you notice how it stopped? That's because you have to do this. Unlock it, double click it, loop it. You gotta click loop, okay? Now it will play the whole time you have the scene. But you notice now we have this scene, this one just has a camera still, right? Nothing here. But when you're doing a live stream, this is great because you set up your scenes to whatever you want them to show. So now you know how to do images, videos, but you still probably want to know how to do text, right? I showed you how to do the green screen, showed you how to play with the mixing board. Crash course here. Add text, okay? See how I just added this? Now you can name all this stuff and you can use your existing stuff, but this is a crash course. I don't got time for all that. So I'm going to go add some text. I'm going to say, welcome to my live stream, okay? There we go, welcome to my live stream. I'm gonna pick a color, I'm just gonna pick yellow, okay? I didn't even put it in caps or anything. All right, now it starts out small up here, but then you can stretch it out, okay? Welcome to my live stream, for example, let's say you want it there. Once you get it where you want it. Now, here's the other big thing, people are like, how do you make it move? You can make anything move, watch. Okay, I'm gonna unlock everything now. Since we're playing with it, it's a crash course. Click on the thing you want to move. Right click, go to a filter, go to the plus sign, scroll. Right there. Okay, scroll. Now I can make it move. Now here's the trick on text. Okay, see how it's scrolling? But you see how it's scrunched together? Go back into your text and with the space bar, put a space in there. See that? Or put a dash in there see that and then another space now it looks more proportioned right okay welcome to my live stream 
PayPal me, you know, whatever. Once you get it how you want it, lock it down. Okay. Now you can make your pictures do the same thing. Click on it, right click, add a filter, add the scroll. Let's say I want Lulu to scroll here and I want her to slowly just move kind of like that during the live stream. Look at that. Lulu's moving over there. It's scrolling up there. Cab is just staying still. But let's say I want him to move. Let's go scroll cab seven. Add scroll. And let's say I'll make him go this way, like this. Look at what I've done. Look at what we've done. You look like a pro. You're scrolling pictures. You're scrolling text. You got animations going. Guys, you get it? Now, there's one last thing in the crash course that you're going to want to know. I'm going to go open up my um, internet. Okay. I'm going to open up my internet. And I'm going to get, uh, hold on. I'm going to get something over here to show you. I'm going to get it set up. I'm going to get my channel. Okay. Let's say that you want to show people stuff. Okay. There we go. Now, why wouldn't I want to show you Green Bay Wacky, okay? <laughs> now, here's the way it works. Back to this, okay? Here's how you get to show things to people. Now, you add, very simple, add a window capture. And the window capture is asking you, is that what you want? Whatever you're showing on your Google Chrome is what's going to capture. Yes, that's what I want. So now, let's say I want to show a friend friends channel up here okay now you can put this wherever you want it if you want it small okay and this is a crash course remember so now you've got an internet so over here there's no internet right we're just this is a nothing scene but over here we've made this guys i want to show you my friends channel you could even make it big just for temporary on the fly while you're doing it if it's unlocked otherwise you could pre-arrange where you want it so that's how you do the window. That's how you do the window. See, everything I was just able to move stuff, like I just moved my animation up. That's why you want to lock stuff down once you get it where it's at. Because on a live stream, you don't want to accidentally go moving stuff. Okay? So that's it. Now you know how to show the internet. You know how to scroll pictures, text, all that. And there's one last thing I wanted to show you. And it, uh, Oh, yeah, yeah. Here's what it is. You can transfer stuff over... Remember this scene here that doesn't have anything? Well, over here, just get everything unlocked. We'll just, we're playing with it. Just get it unlocked. If there's certain things you want to bring over to another scene, just you can duplicate the whole scene by right-clicking duplicate, all right? But you might only want some of it to come with. Like, what if I want this... Uh, oh, I moved the animation because I'm not locked down. What if I want this internet window capture? Right-click, and you see this here? see this here you want to copy it okay copy now i go to my new scene here and i get over here in sources i'll just kind of click on some and now i will paste it as a duplicate and it's in the exact same place on the new scene you can do that with all those stuff i showed you you can copy and paste your window capture your picture all that or you can just do this where you duplicate the whole scene duplicate now it says three. Now, maybe you don't want the window capture here, so we're going to get rid of that, okay? Maybe you don't want Lulu on this particular picture, okay? So now, here you are on your scene. You're doing your live stream, showing your friend's channel. Guys, I want to tell you about Cap7 and support all our veterans. And he's, so you go over here to the scene that's already prearranged, and now there's only Cap7, the flag, and maybe you don't even want the text on this one. Welcome to my live stream. You know, you get rid of that on this one, okay? This one, you see how it's all here? This one, you only have what you want. Guys, that's your crash course. I went over the basics. I could go on and on all day, but I just want to get you up and running fast, okay? That's it. OBS crash course in about 20 minutes. But guys, you'll be able to do a lot. Leave me a comment if you made it to the end of this video. If you made it, I applaud you because I hope I helped you. All right, that's it. I covered pretty much everything. Subscribe, smash the like button, tweet this out. You know all the stuff. All right, love you guys. See ya.